Yo, what is going on, my husband knows and wife who's my name is Hermazar. Welcome to another live reaction review of Black Clover. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. I'm expecting a little bit of a rush of people from Seven Deadly Sins asking where the Seven Deadly Sins video is. It is done. I'm just waiting for it to get approved so I can drop it. <laughs> it is a sponsored video, so um I'm just waiting for like uh the sponsor to be like, we like it, drop it live. So we're just waiting for that. But for now, I got some Black Clover fans that I have to satisfy as well. Today we are uh, we are continuing on with whatever happened in the last episode with the defeat of Julius. And uh, a lot of people were in their feelings because of that one. Because my god, was it an amazing fight, an emotional fight, and the betrayal of one of Julius' closest comrades, which was, you know, William Vongent. So now what's going to happen? I'm excited. Um, Actually, I know what's going to happen because of course you guys know that I read it, but I'm not going to spoil it. People are like, well, since you read it, you're probably going to spoil it for us, Hermzar. No, I'm not i'm not like that guys um i i learned from my mistakes in the past you have to give people an opportunity to grow and i haven't spoiled anything in such a goddamn long time so people swear up and down that i'm still the same person i bet you some of those people did deserve to their to meet their end you know because they're, they're shitty shitty nobles and shit black clover dude the panic man imagine man julius was giving up his life just to protect even the shittiest of people of his kingdom. Dimension Slash. Woo! And they fucking got away just in time because Yami would have fucking destroyed all of their lives. Who the fuck is Elite? Yami's a goddamn monster. I like how he still has time to appreciate the magic. He's like, he's like, oh, you got through the dimension. Wow. <laughs> I'm dying, but wow. Oh, Mary Oleona's still doing the work, man. She's still fighting. Jesus fucking Christ. So at the time of Julius fighting, this was happening at the same time. Damn, self-destruction? Oh, nice. That's actually perfect. That's right. He already can sense that shit from happening. <laughs> Asta's literally trying to understand what he's go what why they're so upset because no one has been able to clearly understand that. I like that Asta's really thinking reasonably. See, like, the, the thing is, like, the Midnight Eye are pieces of shit for, like, drawing people, innocent people into the mix. But then again, it's it's being seen that it was the humans that did the same to their own people. That's why they're so non-existent, right? They're in this reincarnation form, but we still, like, technically we still don't know the true motive. I mean, like, Asta's really just trying to understand why they're doing this. And I love how Asta's thoughts is parallel with Julius's thoughts, like trying to get rid of hate and this inequality in this world. A world without discrimination. I love that! And Raya, of course, is very surprised and he's getting thoughts of the previous Wizard King. Yeah, that's pretty scary because wouldn't you think that, like, Leet... Lee, technically, even after the defeat of Julius, he could have launched that attack again, whether if he had enough mana or not. But instead of doing that attack again to killing everyone in the Clover Kingdom, he left. Not because of Yami. He left because they have another purpose, right? And it's crazy that Julius is more worried about other people still rather than himself. That is a true wizard king right there. At his death, he's worried more about people. Which I'm sure we're gonna study more on later, like what happened to Yami and this other foreign country that he was a part of. <laughs> I love how an eccentric Julius is. <laughs> Ali, if you treat me how to write. <laughs> and there's his uh his grimoire disappearing. Dude, Yami big mad right now. He big mad. Now note, who is this person? Oh, and it looks like Asta's demon dweller sword, right? Dude, Sally's so cute! Isn't it interesting that these guys right here, right? That the that the Midnight Eye, which is, you know, Rades, Valtos, Sally, these three, right? They've been through so much shit in regards to... They probably dealt with the same things that the Black Bulls have dealt with, but in a different extent. R rather than Yami reaching out to them, it was Leet that reached out to them. <laughs> Hello? That that switch up of personality? Dude, he fucking flipped the switch on them. His hate for humans even resides in all of them. Shit's about to get real! 
He's turning into an elf. He's awake. You know, you know, was reincarnated. Okay. I mean, I know, but you know, cool. <laughs> it's kind of hard to like give the get. I'll be honest, like reading the manga kind of like and, and where it's at right now and, and its conclusion because the manga just finished this up. It, it made it a little bit hard for me to, 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 to see where it's going, especially since this is more build up. But uh, I, I like this opening. Hold on. I mean, this ending. I like this ending a lot. Like I was saying, it, it kind of makes it hard for me to react to a build-up episode like this, especially since I knew what happens and what's going on. But at this point, there, there's a few things, and I'm, don't worry guys, while I review it, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. But there, there's a few things to take note. There, there are two important characters that we keep getting noticed of, right? Which is the elite that was putting the stones in, and then this embodiment that was in that room, right? Besides, of course, Rodis, Valto, Sally, and then we have the third eye, which is Raya. But who are these? Who, who is that person that's in that bubble? And of course, Mamos is like, well, this this power is terrifying. Who is it? Like, it's not human. And then we see that you know turns into an elf. Like, there's a lot of things that are happening because what we know is putting those stones in is supposedly going to revitalize what was lost, which is the elf race or reincarnate people who used to be elf. So there, there's a lot of things. And of course, uh, the defeat of Julius. While, you know, Marx and Owen is on their way to help out Julius, there is a lot to take in. And I love how everything is being foreshadowed of like Julius saying, there is something bad that's going to happen. If Leech really wanted to destroy the Clover Kingdom, he should have done it already because he was going to do it and that's how he defeated me. He could have launched that attack one more time if he really, really wanted to. A lot of you guys were saying in the comment section below, uh, Julius didn't even use all of his magical reserve in terms of the fight against Leet, which is probably true, but he was more focused on protecting the people around him, protecting his kingdom versus protecting himself. That comes first to a wizard king is protecting the people even if a lot of the people there he extremely disagreed with he's going to protect them either way because he is the wizard king also the parallel of how asta thinks is in parallel to how the previous wizard king thought as well as julius they're trying to create a world where it's equal i think julius is of course of royalty i mean that's how it, it, it was probably passed down to him as well as the original wizard king so asta having the same thought process as them asta being a common even below a commoner pretty much someone that was in the boonies and he, he is trying to understand why they have to kill the midnight eye i mean i understand it's like the death punishment right it's revenge eye for an eye but he wants to understand first before he kills them because there has to be something and it seems like that that's what's missing right now their whole purpose is to destroy the midnight eye but before he does that it seems like before he does that asta kind of wants to figure out why do we have to do it why are you guys doing this i want to know everything Thing before we have to kill you because this is kind of fucked up there has to be something that we're missing here uh but overall a really good episode really good build up to what's going to come and we see right at the end that every the person inside of that bubble with the heartbeat is finally awakening we see leet saying goodbye to sally radis and valtos what does that mean and of course please manga readers don't spoil it yeah really really good episode uh animation is uh, especially when asta was like talking to the guy like i already read you guys i actually really liked how that was animated because it's a very silly form and it actually portrays Asta perfectly in that sense but anyways guys that is my live reaction review of Black Clover if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys go to drop a like for me because that would help me a lot subscribe don't forget to click that notification bell my boys and I'll catch you guys in the next one